be more than human. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Joseph Carroll. I write under the pen name J.R. Carroll. And today we are going to talk about Will White's Unsold, first book in the Cradle series. Now I was turned on to the Cradle series by uh, one of my favorite booktubers, Michael Nip. Now he has went on and on and on about Cradle um, over the last several months. Um, I think he got into the book and like ran through all 10 books in just like a month or two. Um, and I think that uh, if I'm remembering correctly, he was kind of in a reading slump and, you know, this book series kind of brought him out of it. So, um, I did a recent, like, 10 book um, series that I haven't read. Um, and Cradle was on it because it's starting to kind of uh, build a lot of steam um, on BookTube. So I wanted to kind of see what it was about. I looked and seen that at least the first book, I don't know about all of them, but I mean, I've seen people kind of hold the stacks and they kind of look uh, fairly similar in size. So they're not big books. And I was like, that's right up my alley because I'm trying not to read a lot of big books uh, this summer. I want to want to get through stories, you know. So um, I started it about a day and a half ago. And it's just a super fast uh, book and kind of holds, you know, it held my attention really well. And the way it was described to me is that it's kind of like anime, but in novel form. Um, and I'm going to be honest, I'm not a big anime guy, uh, at least not anymore. Um, back in the back in the day, I used to watch Dragon Ball Z and all that good stuff, but um, you know, kind of kind of went away from it. And I, and I can see what they're talking about. Um, you know, kind of, you know, it does have that feel of an anime without the goofy stuff that kind of turns me off to anime. Um, but um, just you know. Going through, we're following the main characters, uh, Lyndon. I'm not going to spoil anything for you. Um, just kind of, I'm going to tell you, tell you kind of how it opens up. Is you know, I think he's like seven years old, and all the kids have to kind of go up to this bowl of water, and you put your hand in the water, and if it reacts a certain way, um, you are chosen as a certain type of uh, certain you will have a certain type of magic um, and when he gets up there water does nothing and so he's called the unsold um, because his soul didn't you know choose any type of magic which um, and he tries it year after year and then I think the main portion of the story starts when he's like 15 and he still, you know, has no magic um, tree. It's, it's kind of, you get certain gifts uh, with certain types of magic. And as you go up, you get to do more in that kind of branch, you know, bracket, bracket I guess. But he still has none. And he's ridiculed by, uh, you know, a lot of people. And they're like, oh, you're, you know, because it's like, oh, you're 15 and you still don't have um, you know, power. And I really like, you know, the dynamic of, of this world. Um, it seems like everything revolves around magic. I mean, he's, he's constantly telling you, um, oh, well, this type of magic, that type of magic, uh, you get magic from, you know, you can get magic from all kinds of things, from fruit, from these spiritual beings. Um, just, but I really like the way, um, Will does his, uh, his magic, at least the way he's, you know, just 
describing it to you, it's not, it's like, it's all the time, but it's not so complicated that you're just like, you know, some books you're just like, okay, all right, I have, you're telling me all about this and I have no idea what you're talking about. You, you know, um, you know, there are, there are those books where you're just like, this magic system is all over the place. Um, but he does a really good job of, you know, kind of letting you know how important it is and just, you know, giving you enough that you, okay, I understand it does this. I understand it does that. Um, and, you know, this is, you know, it's like a hero's journey is what this is setting up to be at least in my eyes and I've been told that this is like progressive fantasy where kind of like an anime where people like you know you level up uh, you fight a tough guy well then there's another tough guy and you know and you kind of climb and I can see where that's headed and also but that, that is one thing that did throw me off is a character that you that we meet in this book and when you meet the character, I, it kind of, the character is is there, at least in my eyes, is there to set up the future plot. Um, to kind of show um, Lyndon, it's like, the, this world, because they're all kind of contained. Um, it's kind of that trope of like, oh, our little section of the world is the only section of so civilization and everything else is the barren lands well you know there's this character comes in and kind of shows them that well that, that's not the case your world is not everything um and so you can see what's setting up you know and why he'll need to get stronger um but one thing that will does really great in this book is it's like okay so I'm, I'm reading the Sandman Slim series and he started off so big at the beginning that Richard Cadre did it's set up so big where it you know you're like oh man what are you gonna do after this where Will is able to keep um, Lyndon's power level fairly low and uses his brains and his tricks and different things um, and I think that's what I like the best is you didn't get this big gigantic power jump and you know um, right through the first book and and this should help him out further in books as he does get more powerful he'll still have all these tricks that he's learned um, so I you know overall I really enjoyed this book. If you like a fast-paced, just, you know, fun book to read, um, and you're into all those kind of like Dragon Ball Z type type stuff, um, you know, martial arts, um, you know, all, all, all those goodies, this is definitely uh, a book I would recommend, and I will continue to read. And if, if I can get through them as fast as I got through this, um, We'll probably have a lot more um, cradle in the future here because I was going to do one a month, but I mean, if they're all pretty much the same size and they read as fast as they do, um, you know, it's going to have to be more. There's 10 of them, and I'll probably, I may just try to finish them before the end of the year. But if you guys are into cradle and you've read the first uh, book, leave a comment. Um, remember, we're getting we're getting to 300 um, all you got to do is like you know subscribe and leave comments to be entered and I will see you in the next one